Hello YouTube. So today I'm just going to be putting my new fighter that I named the NF1 for New Fighter 1 against the B model of it, which is literally the only difference is the engine. This is the A model, it has the Panther engine. This is the B model. It has a ramjet engine. That's that's the only difference. So we're going to see if it affects the dogfighting ability at all. It makes it two times faster than the original, but it takes up, has a long takeoff run and immediately crashes because he's an idiot. Try that again, yeah? Come on. Is taking off really that hard? I've taken off on this thing. It's not it's the same as the the other one. So it shouldn't be struggling. Already up in the air. This one just got up in the air. How are you that bad? <coughs> oh my goodness. Jebediah almost entering a flat spin, but he's good. You see, the difference being he is actually a good pilot. Apparently, Valentina is not. I'll do it myself. He's apparently Valentina can't handle it. Oh well, it was still better. Okay, look, it does not need nearly as much elevator, apparently. It's stable, I swear. I've flown it before, and it was fine. <coughs> Ugh. Swallowed wrong after the second crash. There we go. Start competition. Okay, well, that's not super helpful. Okay, there you go. You're recovering. Okay, and now you're dead because... Jibidai actually knows how to fly. Okay. It might be that the thrust vectoring is helping him. Look, Jebediah, you gotta, you gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta stop, man. Fine, I'll fly it myself. Okay, if the AI control didn't kick in, it would have been fine. But no. Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing in the air first, and then I'm gonna kick AI control in, and then I'm gonna take control of it. Or I'll just turn on AI control for the other one.
sidewinders. I know how the sidewinders work. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Hold on, Jebediah. But uh, apparently the AI doesn't know how to moderate their pitch control. Or their anything control, really. But you gotta tap it. Exact. And don't do that! Yeah, it kind of sucks with that one. I think the thrust vectoring definitely helps it in terms of dogfighting capabilities. Okay. Let me take control of it and see if I can't. If I can't get it to work the way I want it. Here's the thing, I don't know how to deploy countermeasures. <clears throat> so, in terms of AI piloting, the A model is superior. <laughs> like this thing, they can't, they can't even take off in the other one. How it takes off just fine, you see that? This one, they just point the nose straight into the ground for some reason. Like, I don't know what they're doing. I, 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 why? Why is it nose diving immediately? I decide to pull too many G's, I'm gonna have to like limit what that elevator can do. What is it doing? Um what? So confused. Where's he? What happened to the other one? <clears throat> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. 
here's what I'm gonna do to try and fix the issue, right? So that goes up that much, right? Authority limiter. 10 degrees. That might work. That might just work. See, that one takes off just fine. See? See, now it takes off fine. I fixed it. Okay, maybe I haven't, but still. It's better than the last time. right now. Meanwhile, Jebediah over here is fine. For the most part. Until, until he starts doing this. Like, just fly level, man. Just, just fly level. Just do that. Stay like that. how to moderate things. <clears throat> Do I seriously need to limit it to like five degrees? Because that's kind of ridiculous. Just make sure that's symmetrical. Yes, okay, good. Let's try this again. Because apparently, the AI is stupid. That's quite the takeoff run. There you go. There you go. Uh, there goes the tail. So you're definitely dead. Um, you've also lost the tail and are in a flat spin. That was interesting. So I need to limit the elevator to five degrees of travel. Interesting. Can I get away with seven? Let's see if I can get away with seven. take off okay. You can see this thing's already in the air. Part of the problem with the B model is the longer takeoff run. Did Jebediah seriously just crash? Okay, I seem to be able to get away with seven. Okay, so now the AI can moderate their pitch? Okay, okay buddy, okay pal. Escape button not working. Hello? 
There we go. We're going to make that change permanent. <coughs> Authority limiter seven. That is symmetrical. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so now that that's fixed, we can actually kind of fight. Now let's watch Jebediah now that we've fixed Valentina's craft. Jebediah takes off almost instantly. Jebediah, don't you crash, I swear. Crash. See, I don't know what he's doing now. See, like, what, what was that? What on earth was that? Okay. So what we're gonna do... <coughs> is we're gonna try the same thing we did with the other one. Because if I just need to limit the elevator, then that's fine. Uh, team B... Go boy, go. Now he has thrust vector, so... That probably adds to it. It also definitely extends the takeoff arm. A lot. Goodness, are you ever gonna take off? That one's in the air already. And you're not up in the air yet? What's, what's going on? What's going on here? Oh, at least move it. So here's part of the problem. Uh, Jebediah apparently needs that elevator authority, uh, to get off the ground. Which is a slight issue. When it also seems to cause him to crash a lot. Oh, cluster bombs. I want to see the AI use the cluster bombs. Let's go. Cluster bombs, cluster bombs, cluster bombs. Oh, come on. What are you doing? What is the AI doing? Is the AI gonna attack or what? What are you doing? attack or what? Okay, stop pulling up like that. But I never pressed that. You are evidently unfit for combat. What the heck? I'm not clicking whatever this is. Action groups? Never done that. Ever. I've never used action groups before.
not unstable either. Only a little bit of instability there. Um, why is the escape button not working again? What? I didn't click anything like that. What is this? I'm trying to pause the game. There we go. I'm telling y'all, Kerbal Space Program is acting up right now. Team B. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them side by side and they will take off together. They will both take off on the runway. I'd like to know why it's not letting me pause at random points in time. Now, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. <coughs> Close that. Close this. Okay, see, it works. Well, I wasn't working earlier. Taking a base of action by the looks of things. Are any of them gonna actually do anything? Okay, what do you How? How did you get to a flat spin? I swear they find a way every time. Whatever, man. My final verdict is that this is completely and utterly inconclusive. I'm just gonna see if I need to limit the um, authority of the elevator on the A model as well. We're gonna figure that out. That thing again. We'll see. Yeah, no, I keep calling it the A model. It's not actually named the A model on here, but it's whatever.
All right, let's try limiting it at first to seven degrees because that seems to work nicely while still giving a good range of control. And we'll turn burners on because that seems to be a favorite of the AI. Instability caused by the thrust vectoring. But I can turn that off. Now let's just see what it's like normally for comparison. I mean, it really all comes down to the pilot, from what I can tell. Because you can moderate that pretty easily. So I'm thinking it's the fault of the AI. Because, yeah, you can pull yourself into something ridiculous. Sort of ridiculous turn, but like, and then you know, get out of control. But that's only if you like pull hard in like a high speed turn, that's like pulling faster than you can. What I can also try is reducing the amount of fuel in the plane. Because if I do that, then I could, um, 
going to make it lighter, and I see if that... Oh, well, it doesn't even need oxidizer, so... We can just go in here and just remove that entirely, because... They're air-fed engines, they don't need oxidizer. Oh, uh, where's the CG? It's a bit farther forward, but... You know. I guess if I do... Yeah, it noticeably moves, but that's probably fine. It's just cutting dead weight, really. Toggle mode. Toggle mode. That should make it a bit, a good deal more stable, as well as just cutting dead weight. Yeah, that's a lot more stable actually. It still has its moments of instability, but. It's a lot better, from what I can tell, anyway. Honestly, let's just do this for the other one. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And we'll just name this one the A model. Just so that we know. Yes, there's an A and there's a B. So we don't need that. What we in fact need is to simply remove the oxidizer. <laughs> because we don't need oxidizer in this air breathing engine airplane. There's your problem. Do we have dead weight we don't need? <laughs> There's your problem. We'll just keep that on. Um... Okay, so it just kind of exploded uh, after deploying some cluster bombs. That's gonna hurt. Oh, we did it. We blew up the vehicle assembly building. <laughs> okay, so let me actually just like. see how it is stability wise now. Because we don't need like. We don't need it to turn in under a second, you know? We don't need it to turn the way it's been turning. Turn the throttle off so I don't over G the aircraft because I have done that a couple times. 
Because, you know, you're going like Mach 3 or something. And then... You, like, instantaneously pull up. It's gonna destroy the airport. Your airplane's not coming back. See, that's much better. That's much better. Wow, now that we've improved it, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.